Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be trying out some new drugstore makeup and I'm so excited because if you guys watch my videos, you know how much I love me some drugstore makeup and there's so much newness out. I'm actually gonna be doing a part two to this video because I can't fit it all into one, so stay tuned for that. But today we have some really great brands, Elf, Milani, Makeup Revolution, NYX, CoverGirl. I feel like every brand is coming out with new stuff and I'm honestly here for it, especially if it's drugstore store stuff so make sure you guys grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it and try everything else so milani dropped these new gilded mini eyeshadow palettes which look so freaking cute i love milani's eyeshadows so with these you get six eyeshadows in each palette they come in a wide variety of different palettes by the way i have three here the first one is call me old-fashioned which are just your classic smoky shadows really pretty tones and then the other one is the whiskey business which is an all matte warm palette also really nice tones. And then we have the Wind Down palette, which has more purpley mauve tones. So I'm gonna start with Whiskey Business, and I'm gonna start off with this color right here, and I'm gonna apply that in my crease. And I already primed my lids and everything. I'm just gonna buff that in my crease, on my lid. I'm gonna do an all matte look today. This is a good shade. It's really soft and pigmented. And I'm gonna add some of these two colors right here. This one is a little bit more of like a purpley brown and this is a true like cool tone brown. So I'm gonna mix those both just to deepen up my crease a little bit and like my outer lid. First impressions, I really like the formula of these. It reminds me a lot of their Gilded Mattes palette, which is one of my favorites. They're nice because they're pigmented, but also buildable, and they blend really nicely, too. By the way, I am tapping so lightly into my brush, and these colors are very pigmented. So I'm building them up gradually, but I am just tapping ever so lightly into those darker colors, and really vibing with these tones but like also the formula of these are just nice i'm gonna take a little bit more of this color and i'm actually just gonna mix both of the transition shades they're very similar this one is a little bit darker but they both have a warm orangey undertone which i want to keep so i'm gonna add that back right in my crease to help blend everything else out i love a good warm transition Let's add this matte cream shade. And I'm gonna apply that on my lid. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little bit different and this may or may not ruin my makeup, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't, but I'm gonna try out some white eyeliner because I have this NYX Vivid Matte Liquid Liner in the shade white. I've definitely tried the black version to this before. I'm pretty sure this is like an older eyeliner, but NYX, I think they got rid of it and they recently brought it back and these come in a couple different colors, but I wanna try out the white today because why not? So it comes with a brush applicator, which looks like this. Let's, let's try it. Okay, wow, it's very pigmented. It literally looks like white out. Okay, wow, this is different. Hmm. I'm gonna put on false lashes to see if maybe it'll come together because this looks crazy right now, but I'm hopeful because I always say trust the process. For lashes, I actually have a new mascara and falsies from the Kiss and Meredith Duxbury collection. These are really pretty. They're like curly, very flexible, easy to apply. So this was from actually their holiday limited edition collection, but I'm pretty sure you can still find these. And these are in the style 4 AM. How pretty are they? And we have a new mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. So I'm actually not a huge fan of the anti-gravity mascara from um, Milani it flakes on me like crazy I think it's a good mascara but that's the reason why I don't really love it but I am really excited about this oh I like the wand that's a good one I really hope this comes together if not honestly I will just go over this with some black eyeliner if it looks really crazy but I'm hopeful that the false lashes will bring the eye makeup together because that's usually the case lashes mascara it always helps 
but let's try out this one from Milani now. Okay, length. First impressions definitely adds length and separation to the lashes. Oh, that's really good. This is more of a lengthening and separating mascara versus like lots of volume, but I really like it and I cannot wait to try this on my lower lashes. Okay, I'm finally back. I put on the lashes. That just took me forever, not because of the lashes, but because I was struggling with trying to make this liner look good. The white liner is definitely intense. I know it's not for everyone, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. I really like these though. And by the way, I didn't even tell you, but I went over and outlined the white eyeliner with one of the Vivid Matte Black Liners because I wanted to kind of make it pop. And I think this makes the white a little bit more wearable because it is so bold it's literally like white out because the liners are so pigmented so i just outlined the white and i think it looks like i said a little bit more wearable i don't even know if i really like this though on me like the white liner because it is so bold it's just different but let's move into the rest of the products because we got some good stuff so starting off with primer i have the sun protection and makeup primer from elf this has spf 30 so this is the packaging it says it's a lightweight spf that creates a glowing radiance while priming for long lasting makeup wear. Okay, so it absorbs into the skin fairly quickly. Does give a little bit of a radiance to the skin as you can see. That's pretty. Okay, let's add more. Okay, this is really pretty. It definitely is glowy, but it's also really hydrating. I'm going to put a little bit more on my forehead. super hydrating. I don't notice any pilling on my skin right now. I applied moisturizer earlier and I used the one from Honest Beauty, but that's been sitting on my skin for a couple hours at this point, but looks really good. I love the glowy finish. I think that's so pretty. It definitely is hydrating and this does look like a good base before makeup. Well, now let's move into foundation. I have here the NYX Bear With Me Blurring Tint Foundation and I have three different shades here because I was not sure which one would match but now that i have them all i'm thinking i'm gonna go with by the way i bought soft beige i don't know if that's gonna match and then we also have golden light this probably is a little bit too dark i think i'm actually gonna go in with vanilla i think this might be a perfect match let's try it out by the way this is a medium coverage matte blurred finish product and it comes in 24 different shades Ooh, it's definitely thicker look at that Okay, let's blend it out and see. Oh, is the color too light? I think the color is too light. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of soft beige, which is one shade up from vanilla. I mixed in soft beige with vanilla. Let's apply that on this side. Wow, that looks really good. This is like full coverage almost. I love what this just did to my skin. Look at that. Really nice coverage. It doesn't feel super matte, honestly, I will say though, and I think it's because of this Sunbeam SPF from e.l.f. This is really hydrating, so the combination is actually really nice because I do like a matte product, but I also like to make sure my skin is really hydrated beforehand, so I think this is a nice addition. Now we have a new concealer to try out. This one is from Makeup Revolution. It is the IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte Concealer. This is also apparently a waterproof formula, and I got the color C5. I also got C4. I never know what shades to get in Makeup Revolution. They're always so hit or miss, so we'll see if this matches. But this is what the applicator looks like. It's different. But let's try it out. Okay, actually, I think this color is going to work. Okay, that blended in really nicely. I am loving the way this looks. It gave me coverage, but at the same time, it still feels really lightweight and almost natural on the skin as well. I actually am not a big fan of the IRL foundation from Makeup Revolution. It was so cakey and matte and heavy on my skin, but the concealer actually feels the complete opposite from the foundation. Look how quickly it just absorbs into the skin too. And I have the Luminous Putty Bronzers from e.l.f. And these are what they look like, three colors that I picked 
up. The first one is vacay mode, which looks very cool tone. Probably going to be ideal for my fair skin babes. The next color is day trip. I also really like this because it looks a little bit more warm. And then we have summer Fridays, which is also a little bit warm, but the undertone is slightly different than day trip. I'm going to use summer Fridays and I'm going to use my elf complexion duo brush. And I'm just going to swirl this in here, pick up a good amount of product. And now let's start applying. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Do you see that luminosity? This is gonna be perfection for the year, especially for the summertime. Ooh, it's buildable too. Again, this is the color Summer Fridays, and this is definitely buildable. When you first apply it, it's really light, but you still get a really pretty sun-kissed look. This is effortless. And the luminosity that it adds to the cheeks is so pretty. It's not too much, too. There's not like a glittery finish or anything. It's just a nice like inner glow. Now, this next product I am really excited about. I've heard nothing but good things about the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Apparently, this is supposed to be like straight up filter smoothing on your under eyes. So let's try it out. And this one, by the way, is in the color 01 Translucent. The packaging is nice. So it comes with a little lid like that. And then you get this kind of packaging with the little net which is nice because then you can control how much product you're actually using i'm going to use a little powder puff oh wow okay so i think it looks good but i'm noticing i think I feel like it sort of altered the finish of my foundation just a little bit under my eyes or my concealer, I should say. I'm gonna take a little bit with on a brush and I'm gonna dip in here and put some on my forehead. It's definitely blurring as you can see, but I also think it darkens my foundation just a little bit. Then I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush I'm gonna dip into the powder. I like the packaging of it, by the way. And I'm just gonna dust this on the rest of my face. We're gonna do a flash test to see how this looks in photos. It looks really smooth though, I will definitely say that. It gives a slight like soft matte finish, but it's comfortable, it doesn't feel drying, but it definitely is a matte translucent powder. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush and I have this one from Makeup Revolution. It is the Blusher Reloaded in Rose Kiss. This is not brand new, but I've never tried this color before. So I picked this up at Ulta. Looks a little splotchy though. Like it didn't apply really smooth or as smooth as I like my blushes to apply. Okay, yeah, the blush is not my fave. You can see it looks a little splotchy actually. It's not really smooth. When it comes to blush, I can normally tell if I'm gonna love it pretty quickly and that one is just not it. I feel like it also kind of like, as I'm blending it, it's picking up my foundation underneath, which is super annoying. Now I'm gonna set my brows with the new Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax from Milani. I'm curious to see how this is gonna apply on bare brows, but I'm gonna apply this now just to set them. So this is what it looks like. It has a tiny little wand, which is great. It says it's a liquid wax with up to 16 hour hold, dries transparent. So this might be a better product to apply to bare brows, but I'm gonna use some today because why not? Oh, that's nice. I like that it's not flaky and the wand is really nice on this too. Okay, I think it's gonna be a hot product, especially if you don't put anything in your brows and you just need something quick. For my lower lashes, by the way, I'm just gonna add some of that new Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. Oh yeah, this is good for the lower lashes. The wand is the perfect size, has these little tiny fibers on the end which stick to every lash and it pulls them and makes them look so long and separated. So CoverGirl actually has some new lip glosses and I ordered three. I got these directly on Ulta's website. I believe they should be in stores maybe by now because I got these like a couple weeks ago, but these are the Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses. And look at these colors. First of all, I think these are gonna be perfect to have in your purse or to layer over lip liners. I'm gonna start with Coconuts About You. First swipe, first smell. 
Mmm. Summer peach rings. That's what this smells like. So this pretty much goes on like a clear gloss. There is a little bit of stickiness as you can see like when I'm talking. The lip gloss is kind of transferring from the top and bottom lip. Yeah, this is sticky. Usually this happens to me when I'm put on too much lip gloss, but this I feel like is just the formula of the gloss itself. Even if you wipe off a little bit of the gloss, you're still gonna have that stickiness transfer when you're talking. Let's go in with the color You're Just Jelly. Since I see that these don't really have a ton of color, I don't think this is gonna stain my lips. So let's try this one out. It smells so good. I think these are nice. I love the way they smell and they apply really nicely. They're just pretty sticky. That's my only complaint. Yes, all lip glosses are sticky to be honest, but some of them do this a little excessively and i know these don't have much color to them but i still want to try out the last color which is sugar poppy i wanted to love these so bad i love the colors i love the smell love the packaging the big doe foot is my favorite but the formula is just a little bit too sticky for my liking they're not terrible glosses not the worst thing that i've tried but these are probably my least favorite thing that i used today but i still want to do a drugstore lip combo so i'm going to go in with the nyx line loud lip pencils and this one i have in the color global citizen and then i'm going to use the smooth whip matte lip cream from nyx they actually have some new shades and this is one of the newer colors in cheeks Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a light peach. This sort of reminds me of the soft matte lip creams a little bit from NYX. Okay, so since I don't have a new blush, I didn't really like that one that I used from Makeup Revolution. I'm just very lightly, I dipped my Complexion Duo brush from e.l.f. into the Luminous Putty brush ever so lightly. And I'm just dusting a little bit of this over my cheeks as kind of like my blush. Since it has that luminosity to it, I'm gonna use it as like my highlighter, my blush, and my bronzer today. And I know with the Luminous Putty blushes, you can actually put them over top of powder. And that seems to be the case with the Luminous bronzers as well. That looks so pretty. Don't have a new setting spray, so I'm going to keep it simple with Milani Make It Last. You cannot go wrong with this. We made it to the end of the video. You know what that means. Speed review time. So let's chat about what I didn't love first and then we'll get into the goodies. First starters, these CoverGirl lip glosses are just not it. I wanted to love them so bad. I love the packaging. I love the color. I love the doe foot, but it's just a little bit too sticky for my liking. I think the color looks really good when you apply it, but when you're speaking and it just doesn't feel comfortable and it doesn't look good like when you're talking and you have that sticky gloss just transferring from the top and bottom of your lips. It's just very distracting and like I said, it just doesn't feel comfortable. I also didn't love this Makeup Revolution blush. I feel like I've tried other makeup Makeup Revolution blush palettes that are so much better than this single blush. It just didn't apply very smoothly. Picked up a little bit of my powder and foundation underneath when I blended it and it's just, it's not a great formula. So you can pass on this as well. The Blur Out Powder from Milani is so smooth, especially on the under eyes. I think it looks beautiful. I definitely like it more now that it has settled and after I set my makeup versus when I first applied it. I was nervous thinking that it was going to alter the coloring of my foundation and concealer, but there's no denying this is so blurring on the skin. However, I took a photo with flash in my closet by the way because I wanted it to be dark without any studio lights and look at this look how horrible my under eyes look now of course I did apply the most powder on the under eye so that's probably why it does look like that but this is definitely not flash proof and then I was like maybe it's because I'm in the closet it's pitch dark in here with no lights so I went out to the bedroom in front of my window and I took another picture and yeah same thing honestly it looks if anything just as bad if not worse it's just not cute there's no denying that the powder is smooth but it doesn't look good in photos so that's the only thing i really enjoyed all the other products that i did use though especially the eyeshadows from milani this palette i can already see this being a go-to for me the gilded mini whiskey business palette like hello the tones are perfect for soft glam they're really blendable smooth and i'm really happy with this palette so i cannot wait to dabble into these other minis because this really impressed me the liners from nyx get a double thumbs up from me they're pigmented they're smooth they glide on and they're going to be perfect for winged liner graphic liner definitely going to be trying out the other colors but i really like these i love the spf and primer from elf the Woe glow i'm very happy also that this didn't pill on my skin i was actually thinking that it was going to but 
Again, it definitely comes down to how you prep your skin beforehand. I think just because I kept it super simple today with my skincare, that's probably why I didn't pill, but I'll keep you updated if it does. But so far, I really love the finish of this. It's very hydrating as well, and it absorbs into the skin really quickly. It doesn't seem to have a white cast. So I'm happy with this product, and I love the way the foundation from NYX applied over top of it. Because even though this is a little bit thicker and it's matte, it felt very comfortable. It gave me beautiful coverage, and this doesn't look very makeup-y, but again, it gave really, really nice coverage. So I'm really happy with this blur tint from NYX. I'll keep you updated on how it does wear, but right now I'm feeling it. I think it looks bomb. The concealer from Makeup Revolution impressed me, I think the most out of all of the complexion. It applied really nicely, but it also feels comfortable. It's not a drying thick formula. The formula is actually really thin, but it has good coverage. So I'm excited to keep trying this and it's only $7. I love this Milani liquid brow wax. I think this is going to be such a good product. It doesn't seem to be flaking on my brows or anything and I like what it did to them. So I'll definitely keep you updated also on this. I'm in love with the new mascara from Milani. This is just perfect, especially for your lower lashes. You're going to love this for separation and length. I'm really, really excited to keep using this. The Luminous Putty Bronzers, beautiful formula. I love how they're buildable, but like this glow is so healthy and pretty. It just gives a sun kiss to look. So we have a lot of great products to kick off the new year at the drugstore. Let me know what you guys are eyeing down below in the comments. Check the description box for all the deets. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave for new videos every single week and stay tuned for my part two. I'm going to be trying out some more new drugstore makeup. But yeah, that is everything. I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!